Hey, this is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop in Great Falls, Montana. Tying a fly today I call the Flaraboo Trout Spay. The uh, Flaraboo Trout Spay is a pattern that's basically the same as my uh, jig version, which I've tied recently. Sometimes I like to tie on jig hooks and sometimes I like to tie on shanks. The nice thing about the shanks is that the hook can be replaced if it gets dinged or if you want a different size or shape. Um, and I also like to be able to choose either a barbless or a barbed option. And then utilizing a shank also gives you the ability to set your hook placement either up or down. And I like to set my uh, hook placement down if I'm going to be fishing this where the fish are coming up to the fly. And I like to be fishing it up if I'm fishing this fly close to the bottom to uh, keep it from getting into the uh, rocks and so forth. So we'll put one of these together. So I'm going to start out with a little 25 mil Waddington shank. Get that set in there. Just using some black UTC 140 thread. Work down that thread base. And then our hook choice for today is, uh, this is an owner no escape hook, size two. This is uh, what I usually use when I'm fishing in Alaska. And uh, this worked out really well for the, uh, the fish that we're, we were catching up there. Um, in addition to trout, it actually uh, got quite a few silver salmon and some pretty big char. When I'm fishing in Montana, I will often use a smaller octopus or um, the finesse wide gap hook. This one is a real good option. It's not quite strong enough for the uh, Alaska size fish however. So if you get this wire lashed down really well with your thread pressure it's not going to uh, need to be glued. It's got enough uh, the, the the coating is soft enough that that thing will not pull out of there. So for this guy, I actually, uh, I'm rolling hook up. Then we need to do our eye placement and I'm using some little squatchy dumbbells. These things are red with a little yellow and black insert eye. One nice thing about uh, tying on these shanks too is that the Double wire gives you a bigger platform to put your eyes down on, so they are less likely to rotate around on you. And I'm really going to work those things down with a bunch of wraps. So those are going nowhere. All right, our tail is going to be marabou and what I like to do is I like to grab my marabou plume and I am going to divide it out. These longer pieces are going to be my tail and that center is actually going to help finish off the head of this fly. So I just cut the center out and then that leaves me with those longer pieces to use as the tail. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim those right off the stem so I get a nice clean cut and placement. And then we're going to lay this down. Do the first section on top of the hook. And then I'm just going to flip it over and we will sandwich the hook with another piece on the bottom. You can make that a little more full if you want to. I, I generally like my tail to be fairly sparse. I like to have a little bit of movement and uh, that's how I like it. So then we're going to add one little strand divided out of blue Crelex and I'm just going to fold this over my thread, 
tie it in on top and then from my tie-in point let's see we'll trim this out to length first and then from my tie-in point I'm just going to divide it onto both sides of the hook so that will just slide down in there give it just a tiny bit of blue accent something about that blue accent really seems to be a trigger for rainbows but I still want the fly to be mostly black there we go alright then we're going to um, use a little black Crelex just to fill in that body um, black tinsel uh, micro polar chenille or just about anything you could use to fill in that body space Go ahead and wrap that up toward the eyes. Doesn't have to go quite all the way. Next, we're going to build a little dubbing loop, and we are going to add in some Arizona Simi Seal. And where's my dubbing? There it is. This is called black magic. It's basically black dubbing with just a little bit of kind of pearl and blue mixed in. Get that in our loop and spin her up. I don't want to spin it super tight because I still want to be able to get it to pick out a bit. Then get a little marabou out of my way. We're just going to go ahead and polymer this behind the eyes. Just building up a little collar. It's going to support our next two layers of material top and bottom. volume looks pretty good. You can always uh, pick it out a little bit if you want to. Alright, so on the bottom of the eyes I'm going to select a small bunch of blue Crelex. Fold that over my thread. Take it to the shank and then I'm just going to wrap right around my eyes going over the top of that Crelex to lash it down. Then I'm going to cut that about an inch in length and then we'll just kind of flare it around a little bit. When that pulls through the water, it's just going to fold right back underneath the fly. And then on top, we're going to start out filling in with just a little bit more black Crelex. Don't want a real big bunch, just a little bit of flowy material. I'm going to start by folding that around the thread. Laying her down right on top. And then our measurement here is going to be right about to the hook point. And then when I cut that, it'll actually lift up and move away a little bit. And then we're also going to just flare that between the eyes, spread it just a little. Alright, and then to complete, we need to top off 
with that little bit of marabou, the center piece that we cut away from the stem. We're just going to stroke this back. And we're going to fill that in right over the top of our black Crelex. Then I find that if we twist this marabou up, it's a little easier to find your cutting point. And then we're just going to clean up our head. And then we'll whip it off. I just do the finger thing. And then finally, we're just going to roll a little bit of uh, UV flow. I'm going to set some right over the little thread tie-in point between the eyes and right over the Crelex there. And then just come around and hit the head. And we have a wrap. Flare Boo Trout Spay. All the materials to tie this fly are, of course, available at north40flyshop.com. You can come into our fly shops. You can always call us with questions. Happy fly tying and tie lines. Bye.